Let's try who? My imploding colon, read by Deathlight. Chapter 36, Combat. Ravenash flew sideways across the platform, bouncing off a building front, and slid into a stop in the middle of a vacant market bazaar. Uh... She winced, stirred, and then got back to her hooves with a smirk. Well, that wasn't so bad. Two creatures dove down, and walloped her upside the head. Ow! Rainbow seethed. Alright, you melon fudges, have it your way. She jumped behind a stack of barrels, pivoted, and bumped them hard into the air. The three more creatures came down to strike at Rainbow. They pummeled in midair by improv projectiles. They fell onto the wooden platforms, twitching and thrashing, until a group of Winter Gators galloped up and opportunely stabbed them to death with their polearms. That's how you do it! Rainbow and I shouted with a smile. You can all thank me for dinner later. Rainbow! Gopetto shouted from a distance. What? Rainbow turned around. It's you guys who all like eating meat, not- Whoa! A rather large monster was flying straight at her. It plowed into her chest and shoved her through the lengths of Windthrow, whizzing past several ponies in the heat of battle with the attacking swarm. Rainbow Ash gnashed her teeth and wrestled with the thing's spiderly legs. Its thin slit of a mouth drilled and snapped at her, immediately clamping onto the edge of her golden pendant. Rainbow let loose a pain growl as her eyes swam dizzily. With a snarl, she headbutted the monster off her pendant, flung her neck to the side, and bit hard into its wing. The creature let loose a banshee cry and spun from the weight of Rainbow Dash's jaw. Soon, the two conjoined combatants smashed into the body of a wooden shed in the residential section of the village. Dust and debris settled over the scene. The distant shouts of various earth ponies echoed through the mist. After several seconds of nothing, the creature bursted back out, then floundered on the ground. Its wing was bleeding, and it struggled in futility to stand upright. One of its legs was missing, just as it lurched towards the edge of town. Rainbow dove out from the shed with a dismembered leg in her grasp. She swung the thick, branch-like thing across the abomination skull several times, before grasping the creature's body with her front hooves and slamming down. Rainbow shoved the leg down the creature's throat like a hot pin through butter, with a sickening sound of gurgling breath. The monster choked on its own limb and fell to the floor. Rainbow spat and rubbed her lips. Tastes like a deflated balloon. I don't know how Fulchard and the others do it. She paused, sniffing, making a face. The heck smells so bad. Just a few feet away from her, Ironhoof marched out of an apartment flat with a nightcap on. I'm telling you, honey. He shouted into the house while trotting out. I have no idea what all the noise is. And I think it's a really stupid excuse for us to have stopped. He paused, wide-eyed upon seeing Rainbow and the mutilated creature. Well then, there goes. Watch it! Rainbow Dash shoved him grunting to the floor as several more creatures dove down. They knocked over a glowing crystal, spun back, and formed a circle around Rainbow Dash and Iron Hoof. The first of them made a lunge for the stallion, shrieking. Iron Hoof curled up in a ball and cried. Rainbow skidded in the way and absorbed the full dive of the creature. Latched onto the creature with her teeth, spun all the way around, and flung the monster like a club into its partners. The creatures flew everywhere like dying fish. As soon as they started thrashing about, another thick group of monsters flew down to take their place. Suddenly a polearm was being thrusted into the spine of one of them. Gold Petals was rushing in, gripping the spear in her teeth and shoving it into the flesh of the invader. No sooner was she impugned the thing that his siblings viciously knocked her aside with their wings. Grunting, Gold flew back, only to be caught in Rainbow's hooves. Welcome to the dance-off? Rainbow Dash mused. Not sure I want an invite. Gold Petal stood on four legs, then sniffed. What smells so bad? Destiny? You're full of it. 
<laughs> gold petals, gold. A she. Rainbow Dash and Iron Hoof was being surrounded by winged Cretans. We're we're all gonna die, aren't we? Yeah, isn't it cool? She looked over. Let me borrow that. She grabbed Gold's polearm. With the use of her teeth and forelimb, she snapped the thing in half. Here! She tossed the barbed tip Gold's way. You get the easy one. Gee, thanks. If for some reason you look through this and I don't. Rainbow eyes briefly flickered red on yellow as her pennon glowed a little dimly from within. Have some pony put my ashes in a bunch of fireworks. I heard that some famous stallion had that done for him. Ever read Phillies and Loathing in Las Pegasus? I've got bigger things to worry about than obscure books. Obscure? You do know who you're talking to. Even I know this book. The creatures produced a collective shriek as they closed in. Alright, these things. Emma grabbed her shattered half of the polearm and scraped her hooves against the ground. You ready for this? No. Good. Just stay behind me and try not to look more awesome. By the way, I like your mane. Gold petals blinked. What? Mamo gave a war cry and leapt violently into the fair lengths of leathery bodies. 